Hi, I'm Sloane Uren. I am the director of the film Dimensions, and I also produced it with Aunt Neely, who wrote it. And here we have... Benjamin Oberman uh, with Film Festival Flicks, and we're extremely excited to be the distributor who's introducing you and your film to the U.S. audience. Mousetrap Films was started out of my frustration as a producer of seeing it becoming increasingly difficult to get great stories packaged and worse being at festivals and seeing incredible films that actually get in, get proven, win awards and are never seen again. And I said there's gotta be, there is an audience and someone has to connect those two and, and why not me, I can do that. So initially that was how Mousetrap started was to bridge that gap and Film Festival Flick started when I had that aha moment that the reason that there is this gap is because it's very difficult to introduce a film that's just good. Uh, that doesn't have A-list stars, doesn't have a best-selling novel, isn't a current event. And so I started looking at how you can somehow bridge that, and I saw that the Banff Mountain Film Festival World Tour and Warren Miller, and I started asking people in line at film festivals what they were there to see, and my common answer was whatever's at 2 p.m. They didn't know who was in it, they rarely knew what it was called, they didn't know anything except that the festival had chosen it, and they wanted to be a part of this experience. We're, we're going to give you an event and a party, and part of that is is that you're going to discover an amazing film and new talent. And as a result of that, you're going to talk about it, the press is going to cover it, and we're going to spread the word about this community and your film so that we've now introduced it, and we can now take it out and grow it through all of the available channels that we have today. How come you picked Dimensions <laughs> as one of your films? We picked Dimensions because we loved it, first of all. You know, one of, one of our simple criteria, and it sounds silly, is when I'm watching the film, and this goes for our, when I say me, it's like our whole acquisition team and company. If we start thinking of other things we'd rather do with our life, then we turn it off. Well, especially in the digital age, it's too easy to click stop and go to the next thing. So part of it was, is your film was exquisitely beautiful, you know, which I think comes a lot from your vision and your background, but it was, it was a wonderful film. It was gorgeous to look at, it immediately drew us in, and that's not about having huge explosions and fast pacing, it was interesting. You had characters that we cared about, and thus we cared about what happened to them. You had a storyline that took us somewhere, you gave us visuals that were compelling, and you finished by giving us a sense of you know, satisfaction. And then after that, you also had the elements of creating discussion. So that's the next stage, is that the greatest film in the world, if I'm not compelled to tell anybody, isn't also going to work, because we rely upon the idea of that, you know, if you look at the studio level, the worse a film is, the more theaters you need to open in. If it's a good film, you know people will talk, and so they can start out small and let it platform, and that's what our goal is. And that's what I liked about yours, is it had character, story, it had arc, it had beautiful music, it had gorgeous scenery, cinematography, and I was engaged for the duration of the film, and I felt satisfied afterwards, and I went a step further, and I immediately went out and told people about this film that I was extremely excited that I just saw. Super. <laughs> I love that answer. Great. Thank you, Benjamin. You're welcome. <laughs>